My name is Matt. I've got a channel on YouTube called Warehouse 345. I've been posting some videos of myself playing uh, my electronic drum set, which I built, uh, and uh, some musical drum solos that I've created using the program Ableton Live uh, with the Superior Drummer. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, how my drum set interfaces with those two programs. So. <clears throat> Essentially, my drums, I, uh, uh, it's, it, it took quite a while to build these. Uh, I wanted them to look more traditional with the uh, sizes ranging from the 6 inch to the 14 inch. Cymbals um, uh, were an A to E conversion uh, with my own design. Uh, and then I have <coughs> some little miscellaneous pads which I built. These four 2 inch uh, pads are made out of little uh, metal couplings. The uh, Logity controllers are actually foot pedals uh, which I've modified and gotten them off the ground, put some uh, uh, hitting surface on them so I can hit them with sticks. So each of the drum pads has uh, uh, head and rim trigger dual zone. Uh, the, the cymbals have uh, edge and bow and the right has a bell edge and, and uh, bow sound they're all chokeable the pedals I have I've got on my right one which uh, is to the right of the main kick drum and then I've got another one to the left of my hi-hat so the sounds if just in superior drummer uh, will just trigger the, just regular drum sounds, no real effects or, or uh, samples or any kind. So you can hear what that sounds like here. <clears throat> so if you look on the uh, screen here, this is the uh, Ableton Live platform with the Superior Drummer VST uh, in the first slot. And then as we go to the right, have all these different MIDI and uh, wave uh, or audio wave uh, inputs, uh, different slots I've created for to trigger different events. So the pedal right, which is this one, is triggering a uh, bass drum, a kick drum, and it's layered with a uh, bass guitar note. And then on my left to the hi-hat, I've got another sample, which is uh, a bass guitar and a kick drum. Uh, this time it's, it's with each hit, it's, it steps through a four note uh, grouping. And that's achieved with the scale function. Uh, if you drag it into the, the board down here, uh, you can choose the number of notes that you want to have uh, and the duration of the sample and uh, just go nuts with that one because it's it's pretty cool you can play some bass patterns so it sounds like you're you know along with the kick you're playing a bass note uh, longer samples come into play on some of the other pads I've hit in my uh, most recent composition on the right here I've got a lot of symbols that are triggering chords, uh, as well as some longer samples. So there's four different events that are being triggered right there when I hit that symbol. So when I step through that chord progression, it's like this. I can you know play along with that and because of the sustain of those notes uh, you know it sounds like I'm playing to music